Alright. I really don't like doing these, like, sit-down talk videos because that means I have to continually entertain you guys with conversation, which I'm not very good at. Maybe I should think before I talk. So maybe I should think before, maybe next time I'll think before I talk. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ash. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, you should probably hit that subscribe button down below because... That's cool. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video because I have absolutely nothing better to do. <laughs> and I haven't posted a video in like three weeks, which is kind of sad, but you know, life has been keeping me busy. So yeah, I thought I'd just do something really chill, easy, something that I don't have to like leave the house for. So yeah, let's get started with what's on my iPhone. As you can probably tell, it's the X. I got it for Christmas, was not expecting that. Thank you very much, parents. Actually, despite the fact that like people say it's not worth a thousand dollars, I'm I, I like it. I mean, to be fair, I wasn't the one that paid for it. Again, thank you, Mom and Dad. The face ID works well. I hear a lot of people say it doesn't work well and like I don't know, the notch on the top of the screen or whatever bothers them, which I think is really petty. But so far I've liked it. So yeah, I have the iPhone X in silver, gold, not, not gold, this is so not gold, silver, I'm gonna go with silver. It's got a reflective back, I wouldn't recommend having it just like this though, like that would not be wise. And it's all glass, so a clumsy person like me needs to have a case on it at all times. Speaking of my case, I got this off of Amazon, I think, in the pop socket I got from so now to get into like what this video is actually about. So when you first look at my iPhone, it's just a picture of me and my lock screen and it opens with Face ID. I have the usual on here. I've got messages, calendar, photos, camera, you know, all the, all the apps that come with the phone. I just keep it on there. Just, I have my tuner because I'm a musician and we need to tune our instruments. My first folder is social media. So I have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Messenger, Snapchat, YouTube, Pinterest. Bitmoji, Skype, which I never use anymore, GroupMe, and Tumblr, which I also never use. But yeah, you guys should follow me on Instagram because uh, I just created like a new public account. Anyways, next is my photos and video editing apps. So the main one I use is Visco, or actually, okay, people call it VSCO, but I've heard it Visco like when I first got it, so I just keep calling it ViscoCam. Alright, for like the sake of this video, I'll call it VSCO. I literally use VSCO cam to edit my Instagram photos. And then I have Instagram layout, boomerang, photo vault, which is actually really cool. You like, keep your photos under lock and key. Uh, Snapseed, which I don't use that much. Pic collage, which I don't always use a lot. Camcorder is um, something I'm using for a special thing. Uh, 8mm is another one of those video apps that like puts a filter, like a vintage filter on your videos. And Afterlight, which I paid like $1.99 for and I never use, so that's perfect. I have a bunch of like Adobe Photoshop apps, Typerama and Font Candy that like add cool fonts onto your pictures, and Square Ready and Square Ready Video, obviously, if you don't know, they put like the white borders around your pictures, which I used to be into in like 2013, but not anymore. Next folder is for school. I'm not gonna go too much into that because it's all pretty self-explanatory. Next folder is shopping, which I also don't use that much because I'm broke. Uh, next folder is games. I will be totally honest, I don't play these, like, at all. I have them on my phone because there was a time when I was obsessed with them, but I get bored of them really easily. Um, this next folder I literally don't touch. It's a manual, like, viewer for the camera that I'm using right now to teach me, like, how to use it. And I also have Snapbridge, which like connects my photos on my camera to Bluetooth, but I haven't connected my camera to Bluetooth. So. Next, I have Rosetta Stone and Duolingo, which proved to be utterly useless. Now I have the Qdoba app in Starbucks because my school is literally right by there. So I figured it was appropriate to have those. And then next is Netflix, which is pretty self explanatory. Spotify. Also pretty self-explanatory. I have guitar tabs, which I guess I use to find guitar tabs. And then I have Skillshare and Fiverr. Okay, 
So my dad told me to download these and basically Skillshare is like an app where you find a bunch of videos to teach you new skills like photography or graphic design or like music but I just can't find the time to do it. And Fiverr is where you like sell your skills so say someone needs like a music producer, I got you. It, and like they pay you for it so it's cool but like I, I don't have the time. And then I have Yelp. Is I, I gotta know the good food places around town and PayPal and that's pretty self-explanatory and then obviously on the bottom I have my phone emails which I get a lot of but never use uh, Safari obviously and iTunes okay that was a exceptionally short video and I apologize for that but I mean what can I say I don't have a lot of my phone so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was on my iPhone. I'm sure that was exceptionally entertaining for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a good like. Not a mediocre one, a good like. I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios!